This is Jesus Manuel Mena Garza. Hope you're doing fantastic uh, wherever you're at. I'm going to be talking about two distinct subjects uh, during this video. One is um, my camping adventures, my itinerary, my plans uh, for the spring and summer and potentially even in, in the fall. Uh, number two is some of the issues uh, regarding my uh, RV travel trailer upgrades for my uh, 2022 Rockwood Mini Light 2205S. I've, uh, I did have an appointment uh, later this week with the uh, you know Explore USA RV Super Center here in Fort Worth, just a, you know about a mile or two from my house. I was planning to go down there and uh, have them fix a bunch of stuff, but after I figured out certain things. I do not any longer have to go there and get them fixed because I fixed them myself. It may take a little while, but I do figure things out. You know, I do eventually figure them out. And with the help of a lot of uh, my subscribers and uh, people that watch my videos, I learned a lot. And I said, they said, do this, and I did it, and it worked. Thank you very, very much. Uh, recently, I did a video uh, with the help of Shannon Hicks. He helped me install the converter charger the upgraded uh, converter charger uh, by WFCO with auto detect. It automatically detects if it's uh, lithium, uh, you know, SLA, uh, you know, any other kind of battery, lead acid, the list goes on, AGM. It says, hey, but it takes about a day for it to figure it out. It has to uh, fully charge the battery, and after it fully charges it, it goes, oh, uh, you're a lithium battery. I now understand your behavior patterns, and I'll change my charging algorithm to match uh, your, uh, you know, your design and to best suit your design. Very nice. So that's a WFCO auto detect. Uh, it's a little box I install with five wires, had five wires, and with the help of Shannon Hicks. After watching them again, I, I, I feel very confident that I could do it if the situation arises that, you know, for some odd reason I. Short-circuited, a bunch of water hit it, and it blew up. And I can replace it myself. I feel very confident with that. If any of you again out there need any assistance, feel free to contact me. If you're in the DFW area, I'll be more than happy to help you out with that install. Just the little box at the bottom, not the top part. The bottom part. I can I can do the five wires. Uh, I currently have uh, the standard Campco uh, battery box, double battery box up front on the tongue on my travel trailer. It's only a certain length and um, it does not fit two lithium batteries. Apparently my lithium batteries, my AO lithium batteries, my very nice high quality 12 volt, 100 amp hour deep cycle AO lithium batteries are a little bit longer than your typical battery. So two of them won't fit in there. So I only have one in there right now. So I was hoping to put them in parallel in the battery box. So, so but there's a little extra room in that, uh, that little rail under there. So I can, maybe I can find something that fits uh, in there. I don't want to put something on top. Maybe I'll get one of those Hallmaster small uh, tongue boxes that I can get from, uh, what's that place? Uh, Harbor Freight. I can get one of those from Harbor Freight. I think they cost about 120 bucks. Sometimes they're on sale for like under 100 bucks. Maybe I'll put that up there. But I'd prefer uh, something that fits down there by the rails, not on the actual, you know, the, the, the frame. Because I'd have to do, you know, drill in that. I prefer not drilling in there. Even though there's a bunch of holes already in there for other odds and ends by the folks at Rockwood, okay? So that's my plans. I want to you know, put both batteries on there and have them trickle charged by my 190 watt solar panel by GoPower. Uh, in another video, I recently talked about that GoPower, you know, GoPower, eventually they figured it all out. They finally, they process and go, oh, maybe we should make it a high quality MPPT unit for these travel trailers. Maybe. <laughs> So they finally came out with an MPPT unit and they separate it just like I always said you should separate the display that should go inside and the charge controller should go by the batteries and they figured that out. We're going to do that. We're going to do it like 99% of the market. We're going to do, do that, okay? Not have this uh, PWM uh, old school uh, budget uh, charge controller right under my TV and just above my fireplace, okay? Finally, they figured that out. 
I wish it was available on my unit, but I was in communication with the folks at GoPower and they said, uh, that hole does not work and this does not work. And so what I'll probably end up doing is uh, I've been in communication with uh, another person, uh, Todd Dunn in uh, Maine, and he's been helping me out, giving me a lot of advice, the professor. Him and his wife are both professors. And they, he's been giving me a lot of great advice. He'd, he's been doing a lot of things with boats, sailboats, yachts, and stuff like that. He knows what he's been doing. And also for his house, he has some solar. So he suggested I get uh, maybe a 40 amp. Previously, we were thinking about a 30 amp. But if we want to do you know, two more solar panels on the roof, a 40 amp uh, charge controller for the, uh, for the unit. Just pull out. Pull out, yank out, use a crowbar. <laughs> Take out that uh, PWM charge controllers, the two wires from the from the solar panels, and the two wires that go to the battery, and just hook them in the back of that. Just put that in its place. And if it doesn't fit properly, you can always put another piece of wood there. And of course, I do have some pieces of wood that match the other wood because uh, they're the ones that uh, you know when you do the. When you do the, uh, when you, uh, what do you call it when you change your winterize, winterize. Oh, where the, you've been in the bathroom, they have some panel. I just took that out. Maybe I could cut a piece of that and fix it and re put it there and then put the PWM there. The only problem I can figure out that I may have and it may not like is that the PWM is right there and then they have the wire connections there and then they go inside. So that wires are going to be dangling there before they go inside. That's not, that doesn't look aesthetically interesting. It also can be dangerous if somebody, you know, uh, gets some liquids on there, touches them. So I got to figure out a, uh, an aesthetic way, maybe put a little block, create a little block and it covers it. And uh, so no, there's no touchy feely moments with the uh, electronics. Okay. So that's uh, one of the plans is to replace it. That should increase my solar capacity a little bit, a little bit. You never know, and we're supposed to increase it just a little bit, a little bit, and, and it makes things more efficient. Of course, you can have an app, and you can check the app and go, oh, that's what's going on. Uh, Shannon Hicks, who has the same RV as I do, except one year older, and he noted some differences, and he's done quite a few modifications. He said I should get a shunt, and he's a big fan of Victor on a shunt for the battery when I do the uh, upgraded two battery, you know, in parallel installations. So I, so I might be buying that shunt and also that 40 amp, uh, you know, charge controller, both by Victron. Uh, if you uh, folks at, you know, uh, GoPower want to do an install and send me all the stuff free, I'll be more than happy to do it and just help me out. And I, maybe I can find somebody to help me with the wiring and doing all the crazy stuff. I'll be more than happy to do it. But I'm going to be buying some Victron stuff. So it all adds up to about five, six hundred bucks it ain't cheap and in, and in uh you know it's just gonna save me a little bit of energy when i'm down you know from the solar panels down uh when i'm uh boondocking but uh my wife what does she hate what does my wife dislike she dislikes <laughs> boondocking so what is the value of having that you know uh mppt you know, Victron, Shunt, and uh, charge controller, MPPT version in my RVs, you know, when I'm only going to be boondocking uh, incredibly rarely and maybe only for one night at, at a time. And uh, what's the value? What is the value other than if you're a nerdy, dorky type and say, yeah, I would love to have that sort of stuff. I got to have the latest gizmo. I understand that. Look at that. I got a little piece of popcorn. I apologize. So... Hope you're doing fantastic wherever you're at. And uh, let me get back to another subject. Again, I really am sincere. I hope you're doing fantastic wherever you're at. And I watch the news and I go, oh my God, what's going on in the world sometimes is uh, very disappointing. And, uh, you know, I'm very sad. So I like to talk about RVing just to get my mind off that insanity. You know, happy days camping. There's not too many bad days while you're camping or fishing. <laughs> Do you concur? So my wife and I are planning some camping trips this summer. Uh, about six hours away from northern Texas is southern Texas. Uh, you know, the areas like Port O'Connor, Port Aransas, 
uh, Padre Island National Seashore pins. And we've been to all these places. We've done some uh, tent camping and some truck bed camping. This time we're going to take our RV and, of course, with full hookups, go camping in those areas. And uh, that should be a lot of fun. We're definitely going to be doing at least a couple of those. Probably, uh, you know, we're going to be going to, mm, you know, uh, you know, by the area of Corp Corpus Christi and also Port O'Connor. That should be, that should be a lot of fun. That should be Port Aransas is, is very very nice. At least it has a nice little town, a little touristy town where you can have some uh, touristy food and do touristy activities. And of course, you can go fishing. Have a nice pier down there, catch some redfish and some. Uh, sea trout something to do okay so and then of what we had planned in june in june for about a whole month so i had to hire somebody to mow my lawn in the meantime so is to go to california you know of course we take about two days to get through texas <laughs> then we go through new mexico then we go through arizona then we go to southern california and stay with boondock with some friends down there today and then do some driveway, uh, you know what do you call it, mooch talking? And then we go to Northern California and s stay with some familia. My, luckily, my sister has a nice little ranch with a view uh, on Mount Hamilton Road of, you know, Silicon Valley. She can see almost all the way to Salinas, almost all the way to San Francisco from her property. And she has a gigantic chunk of property, so I can just back up in there and connect via electricity. And then get in my truck and go visit friends in San Jose and you know uh, pleasanton san francisco san rafael uh, say hi to my children how are you doing children how are you doing grandchildren you haven't seen me for a couple of years yes yes i'm getting older <laughs> so that's the plan and also maybe go up the plan is to go maybe to chico uh you know reading the fishing capital of california excellent trout and salmon fishing that's i would love to move to reading but my wife does not like it but as much as I do, I really like it. Okay, so but she she loves Arcata, but there's very 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 little inventory. It's a tiny 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 town, a bunch of old hippies there, and we have some friends living there, and uh, but uh, we'll see how it goes. So that's my uh, trip plan for June, and uh, hopefully, I told my wife today as uh, she left to go to work. I told her, hey, you know, we aren't getting any old, uh, younger. And let's just spend the money, the two, three thousand bucks, go visit family. It might even cost even more, maybe four thousand after all is uh, said and done, you know, with all the camping fees, the food, the gas, 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 gas is going up, and all our expenses, and hanging out with our friends and who have expensive tastes, and, uh, you know, traveling up here and there. You only, you only live so long, and you never know, <clears throat> uh, you know, things change. You know, people pass, people get injured. Uh, people move, uh, situations change. So we got to take advantage of the opportunities when they arise. So what do you think about that? So again, we're planning a couple trips, you know, around here, you know, six, around here is far. <laughs> it's, it's, a, it's a six hour drive to the beach from the, you know, North, North Texas. And then we're also hopeful, hopefully my wife allows us to, if my wife allows me to, I would like to go to, you know, visit friends in New Mexico, Arizona, and uh, visit friends in Southern California, you know, go visit family and friends in the Bay Area, and then go look at properties and see what investments are available for us in our modest budget in uh, Northern California, Redding, Chico, Arcata, who knows whatever other towns are available. And of course, I have some uh, plans to do some upgrades for my RV, you know, uh, maybe get another battery box and put two, my two lithium batteries there and uh, change my uh, PWM, which is, uh, may not be cost effective, put MPPT in there, just, just, I don't know why, just for fun, I don't know. And then of course add some solar panels, you know, two uh, extra panels, I already have one, it'll handle three panels in total, according to the folks at GoPower, <laughs> as I like to use GoPower, old technology, high prices. <laughs> Hope you're doing fantastic wherever you're at. Uh, if you have any comments, questions, suggestions, ideas, uh, you know, revelations. Have you come up with a revelation? Have you come up to a brilliant revelation? Just, you know, post it below and share it with me and the other folks that check out this modest, rather modest 
YouTube channel. And of course, uh, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. I would greatly appreciate it. And I have also links to my Patreon page if you want to help fund my channel uh, to, to a small degree. Okay, I'd greatly appreciate it. So that's my plans, my aspirations, my dreams, my desires. Some of them, just a small amount of them. Hope you're doing fantastic, absolutely fantastic work. Ever you are from Fort Worth, Texas. This has been Jesus Manuel Menagarza. Uh, thanking you very much, and especially thanking uh, Shannon Hicks and Todd Dunn for all your support and all the great information that you've given me over the last uh, month or so about you know my RV and how to upgrade it. Muchas gracias. From Fort Worth, Texas. Did I say that before? Gracias. Adios. Bye bye.